Hello everyone. Okay, we are doing our weekly check-in, week two, from April 12th to April 18th. So, I have my cash envelopes here, and we are tracking what we can. Let me move you in, zoom you in just a little bit. I'm going to use orange. Okay. Food, we spent... Now we got our stimulus check and we had my half $332 plus the $160 that we had, um, we added. So here we added, I'm just going to make a little bit of a column here. Okay, and of course my pen don't want to write. Alright. Just, okay. Alright. So we are going to put 160 plus 332 is 492. Okay. Now we spent three. I'm going to. It was 358 and change, so we'll go 359. So we have 492 minus. 359 because we spent $359. We got some got some stuff from Sam's Club and what we couldn't get at Sam's Club, then we got at Aldi, and then I have a Walmart order put in for um you're seeing this on a Monday. Uh it'll be uh, the Walmart order will be in today. So, we have to go pick that up between 11 and 12. So, that's 359. So, that leaves us with $133. That money is still in the bank. Okay. Gas, we added $100 for gas. We had $100 and we added $100. He didn't spend anything in gas because he still had a gift card that had like $30 on it for gas and that's what he used. So we should have $200 for gas. Let's count that real quick. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 120, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2. $200 for gas. We're good with that. Food we just did, so I'll put that to the side of the envelope. Household, we were a dollar eighteen over, dollar eighteen cents over. I added, I think it was twenty, no ten dollars. I added, I added ten dollars for household. We didn't spend anything, so we still have that ten dollars. I haven't really been going out of the house. See? Ten dollars. I haven't been going out of the house. So, personal care, we added twenty-five dollars. And we had, we spent the twenty-five. So, we didn't spend anything because we didn't have anything in our envelope. And we got the twenty-five that we just added in there. Oh, excuse me. $20, my mistake. So, let me change this to 20 We still didn't spend anything. That $20 is still in there. So we have 20 And there's the 20 Okay. Lawn. Lawn, we added $10. We didn't spend, we had 51 10 over here. We had 51 of a balance. We didn't spend anything because we already paid him for the month of April and we added the 10 so we should have $61. And we will double count that just to be on the safe side. 20, 40, 50, 55, 61. 61 dollars. So we're good with that. So now let's go to our calendar in here now because we do have, 
I'm going to do, hopefully my orange will work. And we are from the 12th to the 18th because that is what we are doing right now. And I had, I don't count my bills as a spend day because you have to still pay your bills. I don't count the food. You still have to, you know, do for your food and stuff like that. Anything that has to do with the household, we don't include that into for a no spend day. It's included in with the no spend day, like the gas, you know, that kind of stuff. So we have, I'm going to use my orange pen. Sunday was a no spend. This would probably be easier and it's not showing up. Let me zoom me in a tiny bit more. I don't know why all of a sudden all my pens don't want to write properly. Okay. Monday was a no spend. Okay. Tuesday was a no spend. Wednesday was a no spend. Flip over this way. Thursday was I'm trying to think was that a no spend? No, that was not a no spend. We or got stuff from Sam's Club on Thursday, we ordered food from Sam's Club. That was two hundred and sixty-four dollars for for that, and then the Walmart order and all that. So, and Friday, my daughter-in-law brought me home a hot tea, and that was three dollars out of my personal money. And then Saturday was a no spend. So we didn't spend anything on Saturday. And that's it. I had one, two, three, four, five no spends um, last week. Which I'm doing pretty good with the no spends for this month. I haven't really been going out of the house. I've been in the house. Um, I have some health issues, so I kind of isolated myself, quarantined myself for the next couple of weeks. So um, I haven't really been out of the house, so I haven't really been spending any money. I mean, my daughter-in-law, she works for um, Dunkin', and sometimes I'll ask her to bring me home like a hot tea or an iced coffee, and then I'll just give her a couple of dollars towards it, you know, whatever she paid for it. But other than that, um, that's about it. You know, like I said, we did Sam's Club, which I do consider that a no-spend because it was actually food. So we can just do no-spend because you still have to eat, and that was from the food money. So two, four, six. There was only just the Friday that... Um, I had my daughter-in-law bring me home a cup of hot tea, and I gave her the money for it. So, and that was from my personal money. And that is it. I don't see anything else. Everything else is pretty good. You know, I have a lot of no spends, which is good, because I haven't really been going anywhere. And, yeah. So, that's it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. If you do go out, please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will catch you guys in the next video. God bless. Bye.